Hello, in this Ionic programming video, we are going to look at forms. Forms allow you to add labels and more specifically input methods such as text input and they provide a button so you can submit some data. Maybe it's a login form, so you have a username, password, you click submit and it submits that data to some sort of backend and then you verify that. It's a very powerful methodology or same methodology it's a very powerful thing forms are and they use a lot in applications so they're definitely worth learning creating a form is really easy it's it's a form of a list basically so first of all what you want to do is create a div class if you haven't checked out our video on lists check that out because i'm sure you'll learn a lot from that and you'll be very relevant to this video next inside of here you want to create a label and then this label needs to have a class of just give me a moment this needs to have a class of item an item dash input because it's a well an input item and then in here what we're going to do is have a input this is going to have a type of text then I have a placeholder and I'm just gonna call this username just close this off like so and what I'm also gonna do is create another label a label and for this label I'm going to put class can you guess it item and item input again and this is going to have a text area instead so text area different between a regular sort of text input and text area text area is more for stuff like paragraphs for example if you go on youtube and you go into the comment section when you're typing a comment because it could be multiple lines that will be a text area and when you're logging in and you have let's say a username input and a password input that will be more of a text input so that's where they would be used this needs to have a doesn't have to have a placeholder but it's always good to have a placeholder and i'm going to call this comments save that so now let's just actually build our project so cd to desktop yeah now cd to ionic the app is awesome now ionic build ios so now let's just have this build our project Now let's run it in our simulator. As you can see, we now have some input. So if I were to just click on here, I can just type something like so. If I were to click enter, it doesn't do anything. If I go into here, I can have multiple lines. So I'm actually clicking enter there. So let's go back now. What I'm going to do is show you a inline label, which has, because on here, let me just delete all of that. It, it says username, but that's just a placeholder. It disappears as soon as I start typing. Maybe you want that label to always be there, and then you want the actual input sort of area to be separate. You can do that as well. So let's just add another label. So label, and for the class we need item item dash input not in output input inside here we need a span and this is going to have a class of input dash label and i'm just going to put i'll call it password why not so password and for the input, I'm going to put type equals. For this, you can put two different types. You can put password or text. I'll actually duplicate so you can see the difference, but I'm sure you can guess what the difference is if you've done any sort of web development before, which well, I'm sure you have if you're watching this series. So let's save this, build our project.
run it in our simulator. And here we go. So if I were to click on here, start typing, it overwrites it. If I click on here, it puts our cursor to the right and I can start typing. And this is what a password input looks like. Whereas the user, I mean a text input, actually shows you the text. Because obviously a password, it's security. For security reasons, you have a, ca a password character or a password char, which is usually just dot or some sort of asterisk. So that's the difference and that's a great way of using it. The next thing we're going to look at is stacked labels. So we'll actually have a label like this and then below it we'll have a placeholder. So we're combining the two. So let's put a label and this is going to have a class of item, item-input, item-stacked-label. And in here, it requires a span. I think you've guessed what the span is going to be. This is simply going to be the label itself, not the input. So this is going to be input label. And for this, I'm just going to put name. And I'm going to put here input. And for the input, it requires a type of text or password, whichever one you would like. Placeholder equals, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Sonar Systems, and I'm gonna rename this to company name, save that. I'm also actually going to show you a floating label as well at the same time, just to save some time as well. So label, class equals item item dash input item dash floating dash label and now inside of here what we need is a span or a spab <laughs> what the hell is a spab span this is going to have a class of input dash label and for this, I'm just going to put first name. Now we need an input. So input. This requires a type. So text or password, whichever one you want. And we put a placeholder right here. And I'm going to put this as first name. You'll see what both of these type of labels do so now let's just build our project run it in our simulator so here we have a stack label so we've got a label and it has a placeholder as soon as we start typing that it gets rid of the the placeholder and if I click on here, it's got a placeholder as soon as I click on it and I'll start typing The actual label appears it conveniently says first name But you could actually make them have something different but for user experience They're probably going to be the same. So next we're going to show you a inset form so if we put list dash inset Actually, you know what I'm going to copy and paste this copy and paste this i'm going to comment this one out because i'll be providing the source code via github i want all of this still here so you can see what we've been doing I need to get rid of this from here I need to change this to list dash inset you can also do inset inputs so for an inset input really simple what you will want to do is Actually, you know what, I'll just show you this first. So let's just run this in our simulator. And, I mean, build it. Now let's run it in our simulator. As you can see, it's in some sort of card-like format. It's actually got some padding, some margin at 
the side. I think this looks fantastic. It's just built-in classes that just provide a level of de detail by just adding a simple class. So let's look at inset inputs. So let's just pick one of the inputs at random. Let's pick, let's pick username. And to make this an inset input, you put item dash input dash inset. So now let's save that. And you can actually add a button. That's something I forgot to show you. So if I go on to now, actually, you know why it's probably best if I just create a whole new input within the list because it's got quite a bit of modification. So let's just add a div. And for the div, it's going to have a class of item, item dash input dash inset. And inside of here, it's going to have a label. It's going to have a class of item dash input dash wrapper and inside of here gonna have an input again have whatever sort of input you like so I'm just gonna keep it simple and just have text for the placeholder I'm going to put page and now to add a button to it you just do button do, 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 just put submit or whatever you would like in the button and for the class you need button button I'm just gonna change the size into small I'm also going to show you an input icon so if I go to one of these inputs let's say I've gone to this one right here and I were to add an icon so I could do I class equals icon ion dash let's put search you can use home if you want more information that the icon just put ionic icons into Google and let's follow the link pretty simple placeholder dash icon now let's save that and the final part that we're going to cover in this tutorial is header inputs so to do a header input what we're going to do is where are we looking so for here what you want to do is do, 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 do actually I'll show you that after let me just run this because we've already got quite a bit to showcase so let's just rerun this there's just so much to show and there's almost like not enough time so as you can see, we have our search icon and this is our inset input, which is just fantastic. It just looks fantastic. And it's that simple to add a button as well. And the submit button doesn't, I want to say works, but it gets rid of the typing. So if I click submit, it draws that away. So to actually add a header input, if we go to this div class of item input inset, just add a do let's do bar bar dash header and I'm actually going to rearrange this so it's at the start of all of this save that rebuild our project rerun our project and where is it where am i looking here we go we got some padding at the top obviously i've actually done a inset one so that's pretty simple stuff for forms if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform so not learning .co.uk. there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video to check that out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day